Dr. John Gass from St. Paul's Quantum School, uh, for teachers and schoolmates. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, the gifted education team has organized a science talk for all from three and four students. We are happy to have Dr. Albert Jang Chi Pui, an alumnus of Queen's College, and students representing from St. Paul's Quantum School to share with us the effect of healthy food su supplement on cholesterol and liver enzymes. Dr. Jan developed his profession in the area of biochemistry and paid particular attention to environmental and health issues in Hong Kong. Thank you, Dr. Jan, uh, for coming. And do uh, you mind if I pass the stage to you at this moment? Thank you. Uh,
食肆類物啊，或者博肆類物啊，都可以嘅。所以依家嚟講咧，呢、這個都係比較上喺科學呢個層面嚟講咧，係好好興奮嘅。咁依家咧，我將個時間咧交俾誒 Unis 同學咧，係講一講呢一個關於啊呢個微生物啊呢、這個 algae。或者我哋先交俾阿 Miss Wong 睇下佢個程序應該係點樣嘅，啊，多謝。唔該曬，陳副長。係誒，喺呢個時候咧，喺呢個時候咧，我哋邀請陳副長啦，可以接受我哋嘅誒消費年嘅誒啊李校長。Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Eunice. Chlorella and aging. Wait, is there a relationship between chlorella and aging? Why? Of course. And today, I'm going to present to you this special relationship between chlorella and anti-aging. But before I begin, I would like to introduce our roles first. Firstly, I'm going to share with you chlorella and anti-aging, and then. Uh, Carmen will talk about the uh, paper Declining NAD induces a pseudo hypoxic state disrupting nuclear mitochondrial communication during aging. Then <laughs> Tiffany will later talk about NAD. Last but not least, Bella will talk about ATP and cardiac. So, what is chlorella? How many of you have actually heard of it? May I have a show of hands, please? Well, none of you, right? That's why you're here today, to listen to me. Uh, so, firstly, chlorella comes from the word chloros, which means green, and ella, which means small. So by the name, we know that chlorella is a green microalgae. It is spherical in shape and has a diameter of nearly two to seven, 10 micrometers. It is green, right? So it actually gives us the clue that it carries photosynthesis to multiply. You might be asking, what is in chlorella? Well, a lot of protein, fat, a little bit of vitamin, minerals, and fibers. But what makes chlorella linked to aging? What makes chlorella anti-aging? Is what I'm going to introduce now. Firstly, Chlorella contains 1.7% to 7% of uh, chloro, uh, the phytochemical chlorophyll. And this is the highest concentration in known plants. Chlorophyll detoxifies our bodies, 
Heals wounds, and because it is very rich in enzymes, it acts as an antioxidant. This is what makes chlorella anti-aging. So firstly, aging causes radicals on skin to undergo uncontrolled mutations, which causes the skin to wrinkle. Meanwhile, chlorophyll in chlorella scavenges free radicals, which replaces wrinkled skin with smooth skin. But this isn't it. Chlorella has another property that makes it anti-aging. It has 10% RNA and 3% DNA. If you compare it with canned sardines, it actually has 17 more times, percent, uh, times of RNA than the sardines. This enables accelerated growth in young people and repair damaged tissues in mature animals and humans. Loss of RNA can also enable the synthesis of NAD, which will be elaborated by my other speaker. So, this is another thing. Uh, aging causes body production of RNA to fall, which worsens memory and learning ability. But because of the very high RNA concentration, the memory retention of one can be improved. Another thing that makes chlorella anti-aging is PS, which is usually found on the surface of um, brain cell membranes. It improves memory, cognition, and mood in the elderly. So firstly, aging can cause brain deterioration, which may lead to Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, or depression. Chlorella contains PS, which improves our memory and alleviates depression. So, you might be wondering, with all these wonderful benefits of chlorella, people are bound to consume it, right? But how are we going to absorb chlorella? Well, it can be by pills or in powder form, which can be incorporated into juice. But what is most special about it is that it can also be incorporated into spaghetti. Yes, spaghetti. Today, I'm proud to introduce to you that our school has actually demonstrated healthy eating lifestyle through uh, cooking chlorella spaghetti. And it actually looks good with all the cheese and toppings. Finally, here are some paper references. And I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank uh, my principal, Reverend Sister Margaret and Dr. Judd for supporting me in this presentation. And I would also like to thank all of you for listening. Thank you. Because Tongue,我的中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中国中
嘅人咧係有份能喺度嘅。咁喺呢方面嚟講咧，最少我希望大家可以帶翻呢個信息咧俾屋企人嘅，就係話好簡單，一個好平嘅嘢，維他命 B 集，即係多種維他命 B， 已經呢啲多種維他命 B 入邊好多嘅。嘅原料咧，都係製造呢個 NAD 嘅最 basic 嘅 component 嚟嘅。咁我諗喺出面嚟講咧，講緊誒幾百蚊就有一大樽嘅嚇。咁你食多少少都冇所謂嘅。咁最緊要咧，話俾你聽就係、是、話，你屙尿嘅時期會黃色嘅，個原因就係嗰個維他命 B 二啊，嗰啲咧係翻到飛田咧，係你一、呃、吸收幾多就幾多，有剩嗰啲咧係經我哋個 k i d n 咧係排翻出嚟嘅，所以唔使驚。咁呢樣嘢最少咧，令到你唔好話反老還童咧，最少令到你咧係啲皮膚又好，同埋咧一方面嚟講咧，最少有呢個全世界科學家支持你咧，呢樣嘢係非常之好嘅。咁所以呢個係用好少嘅錢咧，得到好好嘅效果。至於呢個冬蟲爬種嗰方面咧嚇，咁啊複雜啲咁多，咁呢個咧都而家市面嚟講咧，唔你唔好買嗰啲幾萬蚊，有錢咧梗係用幾萬蚊一兩嗰啲啦。但係而家基本上嚟講啦，好多嘅。用生化嘅技術咧，可以有啲用一啲誒、呃、其他科科學嘅方法咧，可以製造一啲 capsule， 即係一啲藥丸咧，嗰啲都好有效嘅。咁喺呢方面咧，我就係交俾誒卡門同學、呃、介紹一下佢呢一張 paper， 用一個深入淺出嘅形式咧，係講俾大家大家聽。然後跟住咧就會係 Tiffany 同學咧，就會講多少少呢個米度胺藥同埋呢個 MAD。最後咧，呢、這個係誒信波嘅 Happy Fair 嚟嘅。Bella Bella 同學咧就會誒講解呢一個 ATP 同埋呢個冬蟲下組啊，叫 Cordyceps。Cordyceps 入邊入邊咧有一個好珍貴嘅元素，咁呢個咧就係叫做蟲草素，差唔多市面百分之九十嘅產品咧係唔係咁容易有呢個蟲草素，多數冇嘅啊。咁就美國喺呢方面咧係比較上技術上係誒、呃、勝一籌嘅。啊，依家先先請呢個卡文同學。So good, uh, good afternoon, Miss Lee, the principal of Queens College, teachers and everybody. So my name is Carmen and today I'm going to be um, sharing with all of you some research on um, what Dr. Jung just mentioned, um, NAD, some nuclear mitochondrial communication, and last but not least, our main perspective today, aging. So first of all, what is aging? So commonly we believe it's some sort of the accumulation of changes in a person over time. And it is also the multi-dimensional process of physical, psychological, and social changes. So let's say um, you have another perspective on religion, or like some dimensions will grow, such as um, your increase in knowledge when you go to school, or while some may decline, such as your health as you age. So we commonly define aging through um, a few perspectives. So for age measurement, we uh, choose to measure it chronologically, such as the number of birthdays you had. So let's say you're 16, so you probably had 16 birthdays. And also some physical traits, such as wrinkles, bone, um, like some sort of um, decrease in um, bone quality. For hair, there could be um, grain of hair or loss of hair. And last but not least, body malfunction. So today, um, we're going to talk about how our cells age. So um, Dr. David Sinclair, the professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School, did a sort of research with his um, fellow colleagues on some uh, defining of why cells age. So they believe that it is due to wear and tear, or in other words, the lack of oxygen that cells absorb. So they believe that, um, you know, when we breathe, we breathe in oxygen. So without enough sufficient oxygen, the energy engines, aka the mitochondria in our cells, become less efficient at turning physiological fuels such as glucose that we intake, like bread or rice that we eat, into the energy, also called ATP, that the cell needs to function. So eventually, if it doesn't have enough oxygen, it dies out. 
So um, you probably have seen it in your biology lesson, and I don't want to make it all like boring and stuff, so this is, oops, sorry. Um, but, I'm sorry for that, um, but this is like a typical mitochondria that you see every day. And so I'm just going to give you like a few details on the mitochondria. So it is a membrane-rounded organelle found in most eukaryotic cells. So you probably have it. It is also called a powerhouse or cellular uh, power plant because it produces the ATP that we need through the inputs that we intake. So it also generates adenosine triphosphate, which is ATP, also known as the energy, at the matrix for chemical energy through this very important component in our body is called NAD. So um, one of my um, schoolmates is going to be talking more about NAD. So um, what I'm trying to say is that uh, mitochondrion is very important as it also controls the cell growth and the cell cycle. So for the matrix, the matrix is, is found in the, inter, um, in the inner mitochondrial membrane which contains a lot of proteins. So it performs redox reaction of oxidative phosphorylation and ATP synthesis. So that's where all the bread and all the rice that we intake turns into the energy that we use for sleeping, eating, or writing, etc. So it contains a highly concentrated mixture of enzymes, ribosome, and NAD, etc. for very specific and vital tasks in our bodies. So it's something that we don't really want to miss. So um, here's the coolest part of the presentation where there's this new innovative discovery um, performed by some Australian and US researchers. So in a paper that I sort of analyzed, um, it talks about this whole new discovery on possibly slowing down or reversing aging. So uh, as of below, that's Dr. Nigel Turner, who works at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. He and a, a bunch of really um, awesome and cool scientists kind of um, published this study from the research journal Cells. And their objective of their research is to investigate the causes of aging. So they're kind of like investigating more on the breakdown in this very important communication process. And within the cell, so like in your cell, there's this communication thing going on. So between the nucleus and the mitochondria. So as the uh, communication goes on, as we age, the communication is like a married couple. So when you're really young, they have really good communication. So um, you generate a lot of ATP very efficiently. However, as you age, the um, communication uh, is less effective because you're growing old and you like kind of degenerated your cells. So this communication be becomes less effective. And so, uh, that's why we age, and we don't, you know, when like we see an old lady or an old man, they don't have enough energy. That's because the communication between the nucleus and the mitochondria has become less efficient. So, therefore, um, they're trying to figure out some way to reverse or delay aging in human beings. So, there's this whole theory behind um, the fountain of youth, which I, which I just uh, mentioned, and. For NAD, which is the main component of um, converting input, like the bread and rice that you eat, into ATP. So without the NAD, even like if you eat a lot of like bread and stuff, it doesn't mean that you produce enough ATP because without the main component, nothing will ever happen. So as I have just said, my fellow schoolmate will be talking more about it, and it is also a kind of coenzyme component which you'll need later. And for ATP, adenosine triphosphate, also the energy, will be talked about by other schoolmates as well. So, Dr. Turner and his researchers, uh, what they did in this research and this experiment is that they tested on mice. So, they're trying to um, specifically map the way that our nucleus and mitochondria communicate. So, how they from an early age to an old age communicate. So they're trying to map each and every single pace. So then they can develop, so um, actually they are developing a compound, a very special compound, to restore the problem by increasing the key molecule DNA. So as I just mentioned, when you grow old, your uh, 
NAD uh, starts decreasing, so um, you don't get as much energy as you want to. So right now they're trying to increase the NAD, so therefore you have like a smooth running of production of energy. So um, they're trying to increase that, so that will possibly um, help and reverse the unhappy consequences of aging. So um, they tested on mice. So in these trials, the compound that they developed was given to a group of mice ranging from the age of two years old to six months. So there's a group of young mice that's um, six months old, and there's a group of older mice who's two years old. And their equivalence to um, human beings is that um, six-month-old mice is equivalent to 20-year-old human beings, while um, this two-year-old uh, mice is equivalent to 60-year-old human beings, so that's like a huge complete contrast. And it is a one-week treatment where they um, continuously give this sort of compound they, that they have developed for these mice for one week. And also they have to have some controlled uh, variables such as restricting their calories intake or um, the level of exercising, so then um, the experiment will be uh, more effective. So, out of all our expectations, there has been a lot of outstanding results that happened in the mice. So, those who have intake, um, the two-year-old mice, who have intake um, the developed compound, it figures out that they have more energy produced, so they become more energetic because they have more energy, and therefore they can perform more activities, and also, their muscles were toned. So, you know, like when you see old people, they, their muscles are like a little dangly and stuff, but in those cases, their muscles were um, a lot toned and they show like uh, traits of very young mouse's um, characteristics. And it also led to a big improvement in their insulin resistance. So there's a whole lot of good stuff happening in those mice who have taken those compounds they, they have developed. So this major breakthrough, so um, the main perspective is to slow down and reverse aging. And seeing that, um, as I've said, like those 60 year old could feel as if they're 20 years old. So that is a, like, a dream come true for many people. So as this sort of research goes on, they're trying to figure out more about this compound and what it does to human beings. So they're trying to study the long-term effects and the safety precautions happening in people. So let's say like a compound, could it do any effect, negative or positive effects to people as it is used for long-term? Or, and they're starting this um, human trial next year. So um, it is a great breakthrough after using on mice, it so happened that it was a positive result. It so happens that they're doing on humans. So it's like a huge breakthrough and someday when they develop a lot of these compounds, perhaps you guys could use it as well. But um, they're using it to um, sort of prevent and delay the onset of diseases such as cancer and diabetes. Because when you age, you know, the communication is less efficient as I've just said, then um, it causes a lot of errors inside your body and therefore it de develops a lot of um, diseases such as those on the screen. Uh, screen. So, you know, if we have this kind of compound to save us all, then we don't have to suffer from those um, diseases potentially. And also, um, one, one bad thing about this whole research is it's very unfortunate that it is very expensive because it costs um, 40,000 US dollars per day. So, like, it's going to cost a whole lot of your money and so we have to thank technology for kind of developing as it grows, so then potentially it can go to a very um, low, uh, low cost, then we cannot consume it regularly. So um, for cordyceps, cordyceps is what my schoolmate will be talking about. It is also called as Dongcheng Hacho, if you don't know that. But um, it is just this whole really interesting perspective on aging and also on our human bodies. So um, that's it for my presentation. There is some credits for the writers and researchers of the paper that I analyzed. And as you can see, um, Dr. Nagel Turner is right there, like in bolded like, words, if you can see. 
But yeah, without them, I don't think anybody will ever know the significance of our body and also through different cells we can um, experiment. So that is it for my presentation. And thank you all for listening. Thank 注足了很多我的男人然后慢慢带到我们的细胞里面 Teachers and everyone. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about what is mitochondria, NAD, and how they relate to the anti-aging. So first, allow me to refresh your memory about what is the aging process, as Carmen has just mentioned. Professor David Sinclair, who initiated the whole anti-aging process uh, project, um, he said that the aging process we discovered is like a married couple. When they're young, they communicate well. But over time, um, living in cl close quarters for many years, communication will break down. And just like a couple, restoring communication solves the problem. And this communication we're talking about is actually communication between mitochondria and nucleus and, and the nucleus in our cells. Um, the aging process is very closely related to our mitochondria. And the mitochondrial dis dysfunction is a hallmark of aging. As we age, the levels of the initial chemical NAD will decline, and NAD is actually naturally uh, generated in our bodies. And the communication between mitochondria and the nucleus will decline. And this will reduce the cell's ability to make energy. Therefore, the signs of aging and the disease will become apparent. Now, I'll talk to you about what is mitochondria. Um, as Carmen has just mentioned, mitochondria is the powerhouse of our cell which oxidizes food to form most of the cell supplies at ADP through our weight respiration. And it is actually a key biological player of aging. The origin of mitochondria is from endosymbiosis, which suggests that mitochondria were originally prokaryotic cells and they have their own genetic information, that is the circular DNA. Originally, it was just a very small prokaryotic cell, and it got incorporated into a whole cell, and it will become an organelle of that whole cell. Um, this, uh, this diagram illustrates what is the endo endosymbiotic theory, which states that uh, when originally it was, that was just an ancestral prokaryote, which is a very small cell, and it grows in size, and that it will eat up some organelles such as mitochondria and chloroplast, and soon the mitochondria will become an organelle of that cell and provide energy for that cell. And next, I'm going to talk to you about what is NAD. Its full name is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. <laughs> it is a coenzyme found in all living cells. It is in the form of a dinucleotide, which consists of two nucleotides joined together through the phosphate groups. One nucleotide contains an adenine base 
and the other is nicotinamide. So, this horribly complex name thing works by oxidation. Um, the mitochondria will oxidize food to release ATP, that's the energy. And oxidation actually can be defined as the removal of hydrogen from a molecule. As a hydrogen atom consists of a proton and an electron, these two are removed during oxidation. And when one molecule has its hydrogen removed, an other molecule must gain that hydrogen. And that means that hydrogen is being reduced. Um, in a redox reaction in cell, an enzyme is involved in transferring the hydrogen, that means the proton and the electron, to NAD+. Once the substrate and the NAD+, are bonded with the enzyme, the hydrogen is then transferred from the substrate to the NAD. In other words, the substrate, the food substrate, are oxidized and it loses the hydrogen and the NAD is reduced to NADH. And NADH, a high energy electron carrier, diffuses away and is available to donate hydrogen to other molecules. Therefore, the coenzyme is found in two forms of cells. NAD plus is an oxidizing agent and it will accept electrons from other molecules and become reduced. And also, the direction I just mentioned forms NADH, which can then be used as a reducing agent to donate electrons. And this electron transfer reactions are the main functions of NAD. And this is a diagram which shows uh, how NAD can be converted into NADH, and this uh, reaction is reversible, but it's all too complicated, I think. So, we're going to jump next to how NAD relates to aging. Well, NAD is actually a fuel for cell energy production, and it will use oxygen with the help of coenzyme Q10 to make ATP and water. One of the main functions of NAD is to repair the damaged cells and DNA. And it's also one of the most important antioxidants in our body. And it can also stimulate adrenaline and dopamine production. Um, according to an experiment by Professor George Burke Mayer, he isolated some heart cells and he incubated, incub incubated them in NAD. And then he measured the ATP content in, the, in those cells and he found out that there was actually 80% more. And after six hours, all cells that weren't in incubated in NADH are dead. But 50% of those who, uh, that were incubated survived. And this, actually, uh, this leads, leads to two experimental findings. First, when the amount of NAD increased, the ATP we generated also increased and our energy in our body will increase. And this is actually very important for the development of cancer treatment. These cancer cells have ATP deficiency. And second finding is that the more NAD we have, the longer the cell can live, and eventually, the longer we can live. And as just I mentioned, aging is actually the decline of communication between the mitochondria and the nuclei. So, by administering a compound that the cell can transform into NAD, the communication uh, and the mitochondrial function can be rapidly restored. That means aging can be slowed. Um, this very famous um, and very striking experiment states that there is a two-year-old mite been given NAD for just one week. And it turned out that it has a tissue resembling that of a six-week-old, a six-month-old mite. And if the compound is given earlier, the aging process could even be reversed. And this, uh, this experimental technique has implications for treating cancer, type 2 diabetes, muscle wasting, inflammatory and mitochondrial diseases. And NAD can also reduce lipid peroxidation, cholesterol level and blood pressure. It can also uh, reduce the chances of Alzheimer's disease, which are all the age-related diseases. So when you get older, you get all these kinds of diseases. And Dr. Jen has, uh, is starting a, fu a future clinical study um, because the high cholesterol has a positive correlation with age. Because when you get older, many people will have a very high uh, cholesterol level. And there's a very common kind of medication for cholesterol nowadays. It's called statin. 
but it has, it's, got, it's got a side effect, is that it will damage liver cells. So Dr. Sheng has um, been studying it would intake the cordyceps with, alongside with vitamin B complex. Because the cordyceps can uh, greatly reduce the uh, cholesterol level because the cordyceps can be, uh, I mean, it contains something that can be converted into NAD, NAD analog in our body cells and in turn it can restore communication between mitochondria and the nucleus in our cells. And also vitamin B complex has some ingredients which are NAD sputum blocks. And there's some empirical observations that this experiment lowers cholesterol level very significantly. And now Dr. Chang is actually recruiting many experimental targets to achieve a statistical significance for his experiment. And we hope that uh, uh, we, can, we can lower the serum cholesterol and simply by intaking some food supplements that are accessible to everyone and not, and not because, because the original experiment is really expensive and we hope that uh, we can just intake some food supplements that are easily accessible from uh, on the streets or whatever and can achieve this result. And this is my presentation, thank you. Nobody 或者是阿公、阿爺、婆婆、別人,如果你喜歡飲酒,吃少量的食物,大量的飲品 所以他就將NAD是用了它先 你就會問我,你一方面用了NAD 可以將這個訊息帶給家人或者親戚朋友帶出來的 
鐘啦。咁咧誒，即、呃、係、就是、我呢個今日呢個 presentation 咧，我題目係 ATP and cordyceps 啦。咁咧又係講到呢個 anti aging 嘅問題。咁啊，其實咧即係當老師叫我哋嚟黃人咧做一個 presentation 嘅時候咧，即、就、係、是、我就好疑惑啦。因為即係其實 aging 呢件事咧，唔係應該喺我哋學校做咗 presentation 先嘅咩？即係阿 m 女仔好似。比較在意 aging 多啲啦，不過即係我唔知道你哋啦。咁我而家介紹俾你哋聽啦，有啲我我接下來會講啲有啲方法咧，可以教你哋點樣可以回復青春嘅。咁啊，大家試學幾多？好啦，我而家轉翻去英文先，因為個 presentation 係英文。Okay, so、um, let me start by telling you once again why we age. 好高端。Okay, the reason that we age is because as we grow older, our cells experience this lack of oxygen, such that the cells will die out and、uh, mito mitochondria becomes less effective in converting your glucose into energy. So you will eventually die. However, lately we have a discovery,、uh, as my friends have mentioned already, that by feeding、uh, the mice NAD. They can actually revert their, the age of their cells. So theoretically, we can actually revert aging by taking in NAD. However,、um, since you have heard、uh, already heard a, a lot about NAD, let me get into two concepts that can help you to understand how you can actually、um, maybe like revert aging. So first. We will talk about adenosine triphosphate. Okay, inside my cell. We will also talk about、uh, cordyceps. Okay, ATP. So adenosine triphosphate we have all heard of in our biology lesson.、Um, they call it the ATP. So what do we have in an ATP? Firstly, we have a nitrogenous base, adenine, which you can see here.、Um, the white ones are hydrogen. The blue ones are nitrogen, and the black ones will be carbon. So this is、um, nitro nitrogenous base. We also have a five-carbon sugar called ribose sugar. So、uh, I think we all heard of ribose sugar when we learned the, about RNA, a, the genetic material. So as you can see here, we,、um, the carbon in ribose sugar are numbered、uh, from one to five. We also have three phosphate groups. So the thing about phosphate groups is that they are linked together by high energy bonds. So high high energy bonds are things that are like、um, springs. Which, when you、uh, bond them together, a lot of energy is stored, and when you break them,、uh, energy is released. So this energy is used for our daily activities. <laughs> the actual process of producing the energy is like this: first, you take this、uh, ATP and add it to water. So this is hydrolysis, and they undergo a chemical reaction. And release energy. The products. <laughs> the products will be a DP and phosphate group. So, do you know what is the difference between an ADP and an ATP? <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Let me tell you.、Um, in an ADP, we have, as I highlighted here. A hydrox a hydroxyl group. So this is a result from the hydrolysis, and、um, this process can give us energy. However, this process can actually be reversed through respiration and photosynthesis. So ADP can turn back into ATP by、uh, the process called dehydrolysis. Now the main function of ATP is to provide energy for us. So actually, whatever you're doing now, you're using ATP.、Um, it, it also helps us to build complex molecules within the body. So、um, 
energy, the, the magical chemical we just talked about, is built from ATP. And we also have RNA, the genetic material. Um, ATP also generates electricity. Because as, as, as we all know, that our nervous system actually functions by the transmission of electrical messages. So ATP is responsible for generating this electricity. Okay, so now we get to cordyceps. Uh, cordyceps in Chinese is uh, winter warm summer grass. involves like this yeah, um, the story is like uh, in winter when the caterpillar of the ghost moth um, they go into the mountains to search for food they will um, accidentally eat something um, the fungus such that the fungus can grow live inside their bodies and become a parasite so that in the summer they will grow and they will look like um, grass um, cordyceps are usually used for medicine. So um, the harvesting period is between April and August, and they are found at an altitude about 3,800 meters. Here are a few places that you might actually find them, so you're welcome to try. Cordyceps contain some very important things that contribute to their functions. Here we have the normal adenosine and something called the cordycepin. So cordycepin is normal adenosine, only they are deoxygenated at the third position. So this is very important for the function. And we also have two other um, different forms of adenosine we call adenosine analogs. The main uses of um, cordyceps are mainly um, contribute to the fact that they act, they have ATP and cordycepin. Firstly, they, they can be used to treat fatigue because um, it has increased ATP, so we have increased energy for respiration, and therefore we take in more oxygen. So for people who live in high mountains, this is very useful because by taking in more oxygen, they can fight against high altitude syndrome. Also, cordyceps can help us to treat cancer. Um, I think we learned in biology lessons that for a DNA, the uh, ribose, the, 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 rib the sugar is linked together at the third and the fifth position. But however, um, since the cordyceps have the cordycepin, um, the third position is deoxygenated. So they cannot link together. And when you put them in, among the cancer cells, they will interfere with the DNA replication of the tumor cells. So that cancer cells will not grow. So this, um, it is effective in fighting against cancer. So all in all, what have we talked about today? Firstly, since cordyceps help us to produce ATP and ATP content is the, con the building material of NAD. And NAD is the thing that helps us to revert aging. Therefore, if you really want to look younger, you might as well try to take some cordyceps. <laughs> doing uh, an experiment, he tries to test uh, whether um, t by taking in cordyce cordyceps and vitamin B complex, um, we can lower the cholesterol level. So um, yes, this is the end of our presentation. Thank you.
啱開始呢個實驗，大家見到阿伯幾多批羣，只不過係出咗一個月啦。咁當時嚟講咧，我係喺澳洲嘅。即係我係住喺澳洲啦，一般嚟講咧，一年我都翻去四次嘅，咁所以變咗。當我諗到有啲得嘅嘢咧，就仲 email 通知啲同學，咁咪叫佢哋準備，或者翻嚟就開始做噶啦。咁咁佢哋就好 efficient 嘅。咁我希望第日我哋喺黃人嚟講咧，我能夠 recruit 有啲師弟誒對呢啲科科研都係有興趣，大家都可以係諗呢啲。誒、呃、活動啦，即係總之用嘅時間唔會多，我哋都會就住大家咧去準備考試啊咁樣嘅。咁但係所以大家有興趣嘅，大家可以合作。咁喺呢方面嚟講咧，如果你想睇一睇我個背景咧，咁你亦可以係打上去去上網啦，你就咁打打我名中文名又得，你打 L 個章又得。誒、呃，你會見到個網站咧係一個經濟嘅網站，好快我興趣嚟嘅，咁我都係用呢一個。誒、uh, quantum mechanics 一個物理學上一個原理咧，去解答有啲喺金融學上嗰個嘅 financial forecasting 嘅。咁所以你大家上去咧去睇到嘅嚇。咁啊，幾十年前即好耐以前咧，我都係 C D B 嘅共修同，係幫佢哋咧係點樣喺外匯市場咧係誒做呢個買賣。咁呢個咧係我個人嘅興趣。咁你睇到我嘅即係以前我有參加區議會啦。咁喺學校嚟講咧，都因為以前唔係咁肥啊，我喺學校咧係好醒目，即係好受，係啊，好正啊！咁啊，喺學校好多故事嘅，以前我係 Cook House 嘅 captain 啦，咁啊。Presentation, and I'm sure all the boys have learned a lot about the corella and also the cordyceps and its anti uh, anti aging by enhancing the effectiveness of nucleus micro mitochondrial communication. <laughs> and of course, I'm, I'm also interested in the cheesy spaghetti as well. Uh, now we'll move on to quick Q and X section, and please raise your hand if you have any question. Question can be in English or in Cantonese. Uh, 英文嘅問題，中亦得中文嘅問題都可以嘅。咁我哋會下到嚟，幾支麥你哋。有問題啊，先生
，冇喺度咧，其他啲係唔能夠咧係能夠幫到你嘅。咁喺 cortex 入邊咧嚇，佢能夠令到你嘅 DNA synthesis 係受影響咧，誒多多少少係影響到嘅。如果你太多咧，係有問題會死人嘅。咁但係你會睇到咧，喺二千幾年嘅歷史咧，我哋知道呢個冬蟲夏草咧，係對我哋身體咧係有好處。咁你會見到咧，誒入邊有好多好古靈精怪嘅，我哋叫做 analog， 好接近咁上下樣。我覺得呢度有少咁個 oxygen 啊，呢度啊或者加咗一個啊 hydroxyl F group 啊咁樣。咁所以喺一方方面嚟講咧，適量係 OK 嘅。咁我自己咧都揾自己嚟做實驗，因為誒我喺澳洲啦，咁驗血基本上係。醫生一樣照驗，一年咧差唔多個驗啊十次八次，所以我差唔多揾自己中意食乜就食乜，然後走去驗乜嘢，啲 make sure 啦嚇，唔好太過量就得㗎啦。咁所以咧，你唔好話，就算誒，如果我哋食嗰啲咧做實驗用嗰啲咧係來自美國嘅，點解美國嗰啲係我對佢有信心咧？基本上嚟講咧嚇，誒、呃、當中國一開放咧，美國嘅科學家啲呃走嚟咧。係攞我哋最珍貴嘅材料，就係冬蟲夏草。咁我攞咗翻去啦嚇，係希望將佢繁殖。即係我有講過啦，呢、這個卡密啊，呢個 Bella 同我有講過啦。Cordyceps 基本上咧係啲 fungus 嚟嘅，呢啲 fungus 啊，冬天嘅時期佢染 fat 有啲特別嘅蟲，喺山上邊嘅呢啲叫做蝙蝠蟲啊，呢啲 bat moth。咁我啲蟲基本上就死咗㗎啦，攞咗佢營養，而到夏天嘅時期咧，佢會生出嚟，就嗰啲好似冬菇類嘅。但佢因為呢啲一接棍咁樣，所以咧就夏天我哋叫做夏草啦。咁食得多量咧已經會有問題啦。咁但係如果少量咧係我哋知道佢好有用嘅。咁所以喺呢方面嚟講咧，喺呢方面嘅 study 咧，我哋會係用啊美國呢只啦。點解你會話你唔用呢一個香港大把賣廣告嗰啲嘅中草夏草藥？咁嗱，但係中文大學咧就做過呢、這個一個幾全面嘅嘅嘅 study。發覺差唔多喺香港賣嗰啲冬蟲夏草嘅成藥咧，一粒藥丸嗰啲啊，唔好講一條條，一條條嗰啲啦，靚嗰啲當然係好啦，最靚係邊啲咧？一定係來自呢個西藏，啲大家公認嘅，佢係來自西藏或者尼泊爾。咁中國嗰只咧係清海有嘅，咁啊中國嗰只如果你我哋 check 個 DNA 啦，其實佢同西藏嗰啲係有一段嘅距離嘅，基本上係喺學術上嚟講咧係佢差唔多表兄妹嚟嘅啫，唔係真正嘅冬蟲夏草嚟嘅。咁啊，藥力方面嚟講，你又唔知喎。咁啊，話表兄妹可能個藥力更加好都唔定。但我哋一以呢一個西藏嗰啲做 reference， 即係大家都公認啲西藏啲會比較上好啲。美國就走咗去西藏咧，係攞咗呢啲 sample 咧，翻去咧係作研發。但係做咗成二三十年咧，佢都冇辦法係令到呢啲咁嘅 cordyceps 呢啲咁嘅精品咧，係製造最後一個最珍貴嘅 step， 就係嗰啲 analog， 佢整唔到出嚟。咁佢當然唔服氣啦嚇，佢話我以美國咁嘅技術做唔到咁樣。咁喺約莫十幾年前度啦，十一二年度咧，佢哋差到成架飛機去西藏，攞曬嗰度嘅稀土啦。你知西藏最珍貴係咩人？就係、是、地下嗰啲嗰啲泥土，稀土攞埋翻去，攞埋曬嗰個記錄在咧呢、這個佢哋嘅 oxygen content 嘅各方面嚟講。然後喺美國尼瓦達咧係 duplicate 一個咧，照做咁佢好好彩。我啲咁嘅 c o r d y c e p 喺咁嘅環境之下咧，真係肯整呢啲咁珍貴嘅，就我哋叫 l i t h i u m i d 啊，呢啲咁嘅 A D P 或者 Adamsian a n a l o g 咁喺依一方面嚟講咧，佢其實係大量製造嘅。依家嚟講咧，差唔多佢係出產嘅佔全世界超過一半。佢甚至依家有啲去非洲咧，係義務俾人哋就做試驗，希望咧係 release 嗰啲有 A s patient 嗰啲人咧嚇，身體各方面嘅影響啦。咁喺依一方面嚟講咧。因為成本比較上貴啦，咁我哋都係用一個好低嘅價錢咧，大家好熱鬧，俾啲朋友我哋大家一啲基本上係八個黃人仔，一人拎一萬出嚟，都係咁以啊，後玩嘅。咁然後咧，就總之公司就買呢啲代理呢啲咁嘅嘢咧，就俾大家啲啲朋友啊、誒親戚朋友啊、啲同學啊，大家嚟試下。咁啊，發覺幾好嘢喎，咁樣。咁所以就變咗咧，我哋啊比較上有興趣啦，話啊，將佢推廣咧。呢、这個唔係純粹揾錢嘅。純粹我哋係香港覺得呢個呢個嘢好喎，但我哋冇話好似學其他嗰啲咧係話廣泛咁去做一個宣傳，因為如果你想買啲嘢咧，你要經過惠康啊、百佳啊，你一年就俾幾十萬咧俾佢上架費，咁樣冇可能你買到好貴。咁所以我哋賣幾百蚊咁啊，譬如好似我哋做呢個實驗，你話個屋企人係有,有需要嘅，都可以同我哋聯絡啦。基本上你走去上網，你抄到我嘅資料㗎啦。咁啊，邊啲人對我哋最好咧？最好啊，我哋想揾嗰啲 sample 咧就係、是。
佢係有，因為我做我我哋做 measure 啊，冇錯。一方面嗰個同腦咧，佢有一定嘅 positive population 同而家，同埋我哋可以驗血，咁啊驗血變咗，大家佢話好貴，咁但係香港有間嘅化驗所咧，喺遠啲同我哋合作嘅，咁佢用收一個好。平嘅價錢，二百二十分幫我哋驗呢個膽固醇咧，以及呢個肝酵素嘅，咁加加埋，即係相當便宜嘅。如果你去又唔使入醫生，即係我免費啊，變咗咧，你只不過二百二咁啦，睇下個身體係點樣。如果有問題嘅話，咁你可以考慮食呢啲維他命 B 集。維他命 B 集咧，所有啲萬寧啊、百佳啊，咁都買到嘅，差唔多係講緊幾百蚊嘅啫。如果我哋做實驗嗰啲咧，我哋都係賣二百蚊俾人啦，係啦，嗰啲又係澳洲台翻嚟嘅，基本上係個好錯。咁啊，市面嗰啲又賣得 O K 嘅嚇，咁、啊、但係工廠嗰方面咧，我就會係希望佢哋食美國嗰只咧，美國呢個係好好可靠嘅，誒、啊、唔錯嘅。咁但係如果你話想真嗰啲點樣真嗰啲，我哋好難量度佢個 quality 嘅嚇，同埋咧，如果你買咗嗰啲誒，譬如係表妹嘅，我哋點點知係真定假咧，好困難嘅。所以基本上淨係答我個個個問題咧，就係、是、我哋唔可以食得太多。太過數量係太多，咁啊基本上做實驗嗰啲咧，個個都係每日食三粒，係咁係 O K 嘅。咁我哋就知道佢咧係喺藥理上嚟講咧，係呢個數量係安全嘅。多謝。大家頭髮有咩問題咧？Stimulate the intake or production of ATP is possible to achieve a balance where the aging process is completely stopped, or it is too much like a fantasy where we can build our body like immortal. If there's a limit, what is it related to? This is not a limit. You know, basically, you know, ah, your body, ah, always hope to achieve a very high ATP level. 咁一般嚟講，如果你做實驗咧，啲所謂叫做 energy charge， 即係佢咧 ATP 嚟講咧，有 ATP 嘅兩個 water force 同 air force。咁然後咧，依、这個咧 ATP 嘅盡量咧係維持一個高位。當我一個去到低位啦，你嘅身體又開始勞調節嘅啦。咁但係如果病天嘅 ATP 一個 high energy charge， 你又要靠 NAD， 依個 NAD 咧就喺埋到昆陽度做。咁啊，賣到昆陽咧都要有個適度同位，大家咧係互相呼應嘅。呢、这個基本上嚟講咧。就係、是、利用 NAD 呢個 level 咧，係、呃、大家做聯繫。如果稍有話誒呢個聯繫失咗嘅話咧，咁你開始係衰落啊，基本上。誒、uh, ，Well in Bella's presentation, right?、Uh, she mentioned that、uh, ATP uh, blah 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 can actually generate electricity. So My question is,、uh, if we can actually use the same methods, can we generate electricity for like appliances such as fans, cameras, clocks, watches?
個 A 仲可以 reverse 啦。咁例如話一個人你誒，即係呢個理論上咧，就將一個人六十歲咧，就將誒個股落去 N A D 之後變翻二十歲啦。咁如果你突然間停止咗呢個 N A D 嘅供應，咁咁佢實際唔變翻二十歲，即係會補翻誒即刻衰老翻定點樣？我哋當然冇人冇人做嗰啲嘅實驗，不過嗰個大家懷疑嘅話，當然有少少誇張嘅，即係我懷疑，即係如果你能夠 maintain 一個，當然我有個朋有啲朋友咧，有食開美國啲只嘅通常下草，食有食都有維他命 B 三嘅，佢搏起上嚟好後生嘅，啲皮膚係好靚嘅，咁所以咧你係嗱呢個呢、這個禮拜就可以送俾你媽咪啦，話俾佢聽，即刻買一張維他命 B， 啊唔唔早啊，通常下草啊，為咗維他命 B。呢、这個一定冇問題嘅，一定令到個起身係最少健康，靚靚，佢一定會錫曬你。Okay, any more questions? If no, can we once again give a round of applause for this party and also hear the participants in the party? Thank you very much for sharing with us. Good evening. Good evening. So we now invite our guests and also the representative from St. Paul Conference School to lead the conference.